On this day of empathy, there are millions of people locked up behind bars, living in crowded conditions and helpless against the coronavirus. I encourage every state to take immediate actions to support recommendations and reforms to protect people behind bars from the coronavirus. Please take action now. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? Say, huh? What wrong with you? Man, I got sick. You got sick? What the fuck? What you coming down with? You got sick, you got sick, you got sick yesterday. 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 Something's wrong inside. It's, she refused. She I'm was, still in my rack. It's been three days ago. I haven't been able to see medical. And they won't, the guards won't listen. It's yeah. hot in here. It's cold. Dang. I'm yeah. scared to hell. I'm burning up. I, I'm yeah. cold at the same time. I was saying, what you think? What my you stomach, think? my stomach hurts. I can't, I can't, I can't even eat. Please, I just need help. Man, these folks need medical, medical attention, man. We need this goes out staff. to the public, man. This is EMCF, man. They were going on the EMCF, man. For real, man. We need y'all help, man. These guys sick and everything, man. For real, man. We we really need y'all help, man. Look at it. I'm scared to death. I'm so scared. It hurts. For it hurts real. Bad. They won't get nobody no medical attention, man. That just sad, man. They were going on, man. It hurts. Right here, man. These guys got the flu, man. And it just, it, it scared me, man. They ain't doing nothing about it. Look at it, man. That just sad, man. Ugh. Man, get them folks, man. Tell them, CO. Po them police bullshit. Well, yeah, see you We see, see we, how we been doing it, bro. How do we doing it? They won't even help days. nobody, man. See you I want to let you guys know. Let's stop. Let's stop being xenophobic. Let's stop saying fucked up jokes. Let's stop uh, having crazy anger because I've been seeing a lot of uh, Asians get beat up and all that shit. And it's just like you know, a lot of people want to look for an excuse, but like, oh well, Asians they be they be racist towards over and everything. And it's like you know what? At, at this moment in life, right now, at this moment in life. For once, let's all be one race. You know what I'm saying? Let's all be one race. Because at the end of the day, in the in the eyes of God, we are all one. And and the, and the more we're nicer to each other, the more the more we nicer to each other, the more God will forgive us, and the faster we get cured off this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we really don't know who's lying. Because uh, the Chinese are saying that uh, a country put that disease over there and you never know if it's true because at the end of the day a lot of people owe money to china and at the end of the day they want bbn jack frost what's up party people i right, so yeah so apparently J Prince, as you've seen, put out, I don't want to say a referendum, but put out um, his thoughts on what's going on with the coronavirus. And not for nothing, I'm very happy to see that I'm not the only one that is saying, look, there's things going on in the prison. Shout out to my son also. That I'm not, and there's other people also, but I'm just I'm just speaking about the people who I've seen do it like that I can think of off the top of my head because it's so recent. So, you know, shout out to those guys. Um, But... I definitely think I think that we we live in this culture where we think that if somebody goes to prison, you know, screw them unless they're a relative or whatever the case is. But I think that this is just me talking real quick. I think that if if you are in jail, that doesn't mean that you need to be 
or, or in prison, that doesn't mean, or either, that doesn't mean that you need to be treated like an animal. So I think that there needs to be a certain level of respect that should be given, even if you know that you got a difficult inmate. That does not mean that if they get the coronavirus, F them. Anyway, as y'all also saw, we played a clip of um, that comes from a prison and I don't usually play clips, but I played this particular clip for a very important reason. And that's because we have to have awareness of what's going on. I think just generally speaking, we are going on with there's so much xenophobia and everything going on out here right now. You got people just attacking people just because they look like they might be Chinese. And it's crazy. I seen a guy get set on fire. I seen a picture with some. They just took a whole. They took a, a box. They took a um. A, a box cut or something they put a took a whole chunk out of a little boy's face like it's really getting wild out here um i want to know what your opinions is specifically what do you think the uh our judicial system our our courts our uh prisons um department of corrections what do you think that they should do involve uh, revolving around the prisoners that are in jail that are sick because i just want to point something out real quick Governor Cuomo the other day, shout out to uh, Lisa Evers, Governor Cuomo the other day, what he said was, is that um, the state of New York needs 30,000 respirators, 30,000, they were able to get 400, so if the, the, the hospitals can't get the proper medical equipment that they need to take care of the patients that are free you could just imagine what's going on behind bars where people they don't have no choice but to be in close captivity with others you can't you think they're getting gloves to be putting on you think they're getting a uh, mass other than some homemade makeshift mask they're gonna make out of the clothes that they have what what do you think is good you think they're giving these guys um what is soap <laughs> so let's not even say um because there's this big thing where everybody wants to use hand sanitizer or whatever the case is when soap actually works better than that. But um, the point being is, is that if the actual hospitals that's out here that are for the tax paying citizens, those hospitals can't get the goods that they need, can't get the equipment that they need. How can we even what's happening in the prisons? I think that we need to please everybody. Right. Your family. Your friends that's locked up, write them. Find out what's going on with them. Find out if they're okay. Also, buy brand new writing equipment and make sure that you handle everything with gloves so you don't contaminate the prison by sending in by sending it in through the mail. Just so we could be so just I just want to point that out. If you're gonna mail anybody anything, make sure it is not you're not cross contaminating the place that you're sending it to. So please, everybody the the paper the envelope the don't even lick the damn stamp put water on it from somewhere that you're getting that you're gonna use even the pen that you're gonna use make sure that it's not gonna be cross contaminating where you're sending the stuff to even though i know you don't mail the pen there's no telling you you holding the pen and it's contaminated then you touch the paper the paper's contaminated get it anyway let me know what y'all guys think leave it down in the comment section um just let me know what y'all guys think and also specifically if there's anything that you think that the government can do, what would you say that it is to stem the problems that's probably going on in the prison system? Because let's be perfectly honest. You think they sending these guys ventilators? You think they're sending it? You think if you think if the people get sick in the prisons and it, it becomes a large number, you think that what do you think they're going to do? Let's just be perfectly honest. Matter of fact, put that in the comment section, too. Well, how how much faith do you faith do you have in the DOC Department of Corrections that if things start going wild in the prison system, that they'll be able to handle it with a minimum. Um, I, I don't want to say casualties, but that's the only word I could think of uh, to the inmates in, in population. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much. 
and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?